Good morning, everyone, and the angels that are surrounding us. <laughs> Amen. Good morning also to everybody who's watching online. Let's just all stand because God is so worthy. Amen. He is so worthy of our praise. This is our last Sunday for 2020. Whoa! <laughs> Amazing. I was just realizing how amazing it is that this is our last Sunday and what a privilege it is for all of us to be able to come before the Lord and just praise Him. Amen. So whatever your 2020 has been, you know, let's just end this, this Sunday, this last Sunday with just a bang in praising and worshiping Him. Amen. So whether you're at home or here, us, for those of us who are here, Let's just honor and let's just love on him. So can we just lift up our hands before the Lord even right now as an act of surrender, as an act of praise. Father, we just want to thank you, Lord God. We thank you, Father, for your goodness. We thank you so much, Lord Jesus, that you are so worthy of all our praise. You are our audience. You are the one that we love. You are the one that we worship. You are the one that we adore. And so we say, have your way, Holy Spirit, have your way. Whether here or even for those who are still in their homes, Father, we just declare even now that you pour out just such a grace, such a grace. We just love you, just we love.
are so worthy, Father. We just adore you, Father God. We just love your presence, Lord. We're never going to stop singing, God. Lord, we thank you so much, Father, for just how faithful you've been even this past year, Father. Even despite everything that's been happening, Lord, we thank you that you have remained the same, that you have remained constant, that you have remained faithful and true. We just want to rest in your love, Father, today. We just want to rest in your love, God. We rest in your love. We rest in your love. Just find your rest in his love even now.
Let's just give honor to where it's due. We just want to say, Father, that you are so worthy, God. Lord, where would we have been if not for your faithfulness, God? Where would we be if not for your goodness, Lord? Jesus, you alone are so worthy, Father. God, we just ask even now, tenderize our hearts once again. Lord, we just release even now with just a fresh fire, God over every single person here, Lord. We just release even now just a fresh touch of your goodness, a fresh touch of your love, and just we want to say you're so worthy, God. You're so worthy. It was my cross you bore so I could live in the free. Forevermore, worthy is your name. 
Stand. 
tumatagos pero meron sa atin that uh, you see situations um, as dark clouds hindi makatagos yung light and the Lord reminded me that praise praising Him will help us enter into His presence And we, when we started praising the Lord, the gates of heaven flings wide. Yung kanilang unang kinakanta natin. When we praise, we, we say to God, Lord, you are welcome in my situation. When we sing praises to the Lord, we say, Lord, you are in control. There's trickle of hope. Ang sumunod na sa vision ko, na binuksan ni Lord ang kalangitan. And He came down. The glory in this place. Is where Jesus is. Glory is the atmosphere of heaven. And in the atmosphere of heaven, there's no sickness. No diseases, no problems, no tears. The Lord is here. We just fling wide the, the gates of heaven through your praises. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. He's so worthy. You say, Lord, you're so worthy, God. You're so worthy, Lord. You sing his praises to him.
even in the situation of this country and around the world, that the glory of the Lord is shine. Yes. Whoa. If you need to intercede right now for someone, for a country, for this world, do it right now for the glory of the Lord is in this place. Oh, Lord. Cry out. Cry out to the Lord. Oh, Lord. You're so worthy. Worthy, worthy. Sickness is vanished in the presence of the Lord. Oh, the presence of the Lord cannot be quarantined. He goes beyond this room. He goes beyond your situation. baptism of the Holy Spirit the Lord is baptizing anew many people in this room oh Lord just touch your people Lord as they have touched you Lord touch your people Spirit flow, Holy Spirit Some of us came here with sicknesses and diseases. Ang pinaka-obvious yung um, headache and the Lord is healing that right now. May mga nagpunta rito, may mga uh, sakit ng ulo. The Lord is healing that right now. Even those people who have um, ailments and diseases. The Lord is healing you right now. Hallelujah. It's all in the atmosphere of the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise you. Hallelujah. Lord, we continue, Lord, in the, this atmosphere, Lord. We're just loving you, of worshiping you, of giving thanks to you, Lord. Of lifting you up. You're so worthy, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Just be stay in this atmosphere of worship in the Lord as we continue. Mm. Hallelujah. 
So natapos man ng kanta, yung mga puso natin umaawit pa rin kay Lord. Amen. Amen. Pakibate yung katabi mo, maski um, wave, a big wave. Hello, hello. Hello. Glad you're here. Hallelujah. Ako, I always, I always claim this promise from the Lord that in the presence of the Lord, walang sakit. <laughs> Kaya in Jesus' name, walang hawaan dito sa lugar na ito. We're wearing this for protocol, so... Yeah, thank you, Lord. There's healing, there's um, joy, there's deliverance in the presence of the Lord. Amen? Yay! Palakpakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, praise team. Thank you. Salamat po sa praise team. Alam ko yung mga sacrifice ng mga ito. Na, gigising na maaga, magpa-practice. Tapos may Sabado pa sila, may soaking pa sila. Talagang uh, thank you thank you sa Lord sa buhay ninyo praise team. Okay. Ah, so yay. This is the last Sunday of the year. Thank you Lord. Uh, dapat daw hindi mag-complain kasi sa, sa lahat ng mga nangyari last year, we are so thankful to the Lord that uh We are standing, we are uh, well, we are um, alive. The Lord has spared us through the plague. And uh, I, I pray that He will continue to, um, to just uh, heal us through this. Kasi, sipin niyo ha, um, marami mga pagkakataon siguro na po pwedeng nahawa na tayo. Pero, um, pwedeng nahawa na, pero the Lord... Um, continues on um, healing our diseases. Uh, napakabuti po ng Panginoon. So, thank you, Lord. Okay, announcement. May announcement po tayo. May New Year service po tayo, January 1. So, that's going to be uh, Friday, Pastor. Friday, um, January 1, 2 p.m. Kasi the mall um, opens po at 12. So, ang ating service po ay 2 p.m. Okay, yung mga ibang gawain po natin online ay patuloy. Uh, may online hunger night tayo na nasa Book of Acts ang pinag-aaralan natin. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Kung minsan nga sabi ni Pastor, uh, uh, ano kayo sa sermon ko sa, ano, sa hunger night? Sabi ko, uh, yung ibang sermon, hindi sabi niya may series ako. O nga pala, may series ka. So don't miss the series on Acts. 7 p.m. Wednesdays um, on... Uh, antong on-site for... Um, wala pa po tayong on-site na hunger night kasi the mall closes at 8. So, masyado pong maaga pag 6 o'clock tayo and uh, hindi pa po tapos sa trabaho yung iba. Kaya uh, we opted for online muna ngayon. pag natin ng COVID na mamatay na talaga in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, healing is yours online. Meron din po tayo tuwing Friday. Um, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. So, nakakatuwa po. Ang dami-daming patuloy na pinapagaling si Lord. Maski instantly na pastor yung iba. And thank you, thank God for the OPRs, yung online prayer responders natin. Palakpakan naman natin ang mga online prayer responders natin na sila yung tumatawag sa mga taong may sakit uh, na nag, nag, uh, may message doon. At maraming pinapagaling si Lord, no? Sobra, no? Si, si Sarah, Joy Joy po yung taga-screenshot eh. Kaya alam, na, alam namin yung mga, gumaling ako sa ganito, nawala yung sakit ng balikat ko, nawala yung sakit ng likod ko, nawala yung bukol ko, mga ganun po ang mga testimonies doon. Kaya praise God po doon. Sa isa nga lang na, sum, na sumasakit yung ulo, ang, ang hirap-hirap na noon. Pero pinapagaling ni Lord, ano pa kaya yung may mga bukol, may mga... Cancer na pinapagaling ni Lord. Mga symptoms of COVID talagang kumagaling po sila. Merong iba pa nagpapadeliverance and they get delivered. Meron pang isa, haunted house. Ano? <laughs> May haunted house, pinagpray ng isang OPR natin at uh, napalaya yung mga tao at yung bahay. Amen? Kaya pagpray po natin patuloy ang ating uh, uh, healing is yours online. Okay, Nights of Glory for 2021. 
it's going to be online but it's um to be announced pa kung matutuloy po ito that's going to be an on January uh, first week of January or second week no pastor okay um uh, due to uh ano yung protocols ba ang ating offering po ay uh, gaganapin natin after the service sabihin niyo nga after the service after the service when you um when you go out Ayan, meron po dito at saka meron doon. So, uh, wag niyo pong kakalimutan kung kayo po ay uh, uh, tinatouch ni Lord para magbigay. Andun po yung offering nandun sa uh, pintong yon at dito po. So, let's uh, pray for the offering. Pag-pray naman natin ng offering. Thank you Lord so much Lord for what you are uh, continually giving us Lord. Even in this time Lord na maraming... Um, um, Kahirapan, Panginoon, you continue to provide for us, Panginoon. Parang yung mga ravens, Lord, na nagpo-provide, Lord. Um, kaya Elijah, Lord, sa uh, brook Kerit ba yun? O Cherit? Lord, uh, I pray, Lord, that you will continue to provide for your people. Lord, I pray also, Lord, for uh, yung mga impossible things, Lord ay nagiging posible. Lord, magkakaroon sila ng breakthrough sa trabaho, magkakaroon sila ng mga miracle money, mag magkakaroon sila ng kagalingan sa kanilang mga karamdaman, Panginoon. And I pray, Lord, that um, yung sila at ang kanilang buong sambayan, sambahayan, Panginoon, will be saved and will be healed in Jesus' name. The, the enemy cannot touch them, God. Thank you so much for this promise, Lord, that you have our, you, we have you as our Savior, God. Salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen! Amen! Yay! So, hindi ko na po patatagalin, tatawagin ko na po ang ating senior pastor, Pastor Hiram Pangilinan. May social distancing kaming dalawa eh. Amen! Good morning! I'm happy that you're here. Who's happy you're here? Tiba. No, nothing beats worship, corporate worship. Seriously. Dali lang po ah. Ang dami nakasabit sa tenga ko. Meron na akong uh, face mask. Meron na akong mic. Tinanggal ko na yung face shield. Alright. Amen. Amen. Just in case someone is taking a video of me, tapos lumabas na hindi ako nakamask, ayoko may pumasok dito na may yantok. Okay. All right. Who had a great year, 2020? Amen. Yes. Yeah, we're alive. We're together. At least we get to end the year right. We get to end the year celebrating the goodness of God. God is good all the time. Dito totoo yon. Alam niyo yan? If there was one time in the history of mankind... When we need to be reminded of that statement, God is good all the time, it is now. Because it's easy to say that when things are going right, pero when things seem to be going wrong, na parang ano ba ito, buong mundo na lang, ano yun, pinagtakpan ng, ng, uh, ng takip. <laughs> um, we, we, we forget to thank God. We, we, for, we forget to just count our blessings. And so, God is good. Amen? All right, let's start. Um, our message for today, today is December 27. So as I was pondering on what best to um, um, share with you, and I was asking the Lord, Sino nandito anong Pasko, taas ang kamay? O sino yung wala nung Pasko, taas ang kamay? All right, so this is like a message for... Um, for Christmas, and this is like a message for the whole year as well. This is like a year-ender. So, pagsamasamahin na natin, it has to do with God's greatest gift for us. 
John 3.16. There we go. John 3.16. Just one verse. For God so loved the world. <laughs> Nakakahiya naman, binabasa ko. <laughs> Sometimes, Sometimes you look at your version and then you're surprised it's actually rendering the, the, the verse with some different words. So um, this is NIV 2011. I'm not really sure if it has changed. For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son, that whoever believes in Him shall not perish but have eternal life. Let's pray. Holy Spirit, we're asking for Your anointing to be upon us to be upon our hearts, upon our minds, upon me, that even as I share your word, oh God, would you just be so free to speak to us in some fresh manner. Lord, memorize na po namin tong verse na ito. But we do know that there is a fresh message from heaven for each one. So Lord, speak to us and the glory will always be yours. In Jesus' name, everybody say, Amen, Amen. amen. Alright, the way I um, outline the message is, there's a question and there's an answer, all right? There's a question and there's an answer. The title is God's Greatest Gift. Obviously, that would be the first question. What is the gift? Sino na rito nakatanggap ng gift ng Pasko? Some surprises from, from people. Uh, may, meron sa inyo nagregalo yung hindi nyo inasahang magre-regalo? Oo, di ba may mga ganon? Meron sa inyo hindi nagregalo, inaasahan niyo magreregalo. <laughs> Nalakas naman ng sagot na 'yon. All right. So anyway, first question, what is the gift? Well, obviously the gift is salvation. That's the greatest gift ever. If you've been listening to Healing is Yours online, I always try, I always try to end the whole program with that. No, even though God has healed you, even though God has done some miracle in your life, Still, the greatest gift is you receiving the salvation that Jesus offers. Palaging palagi yun. Because it is true. Sabi nga ni Jesus, what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world? Tanggalin yun lang yung whole world na yun. If he gains a new cell phone. Or if he gains uh, a lechon. Or if he gains... Kare-kare. Kare-kare. Parang an- an- nandun na yung lechon eh. Nandun na eh. Bumaba pa sa kare-kare, pero sige. Um, what will it profit you if you gain something that's so good and yet lose your own soul? So Jesus basically saying, that's the greatest. That's the greatest. So the greatest gift is the gift of salvation. Why so? Bakit itong pinaka-great sa lahat ng gift? Because salvation answers man's greatest problem ever. And that's the problem of sin. Magmula pa noon, ever since Adam and Eve fell into sin, the solution to sin has been man's greatest problem. Walang solution yun eh. Kaya nga kung ano-ano yung iniimbento ng mga tao, just so they will have this sense of, baka naman makapunta ako ng langit. Baka naman makapunta ako ng langit. Which is why you have some of the world's great religions. I say great not in the sense that they are great as in good, but great as in they are the big ones. So, kanika niya yan. Like Hinduism will offer you a way to salvation. Buddhism will offer you a way to salvation. Confucianism will offer you a way to confu- uh, um, salvation. Islam will offer you a way to salvation. All of this, they will offer you a way to salvation. Even Judaism will offer you a way to salvation. But these are just offers, not necessarily that they will actually lead you to salvation. So, nandun palagi, in the heart of man, there is that longing, I just want to know that even after I die, that I am still going to heaven. There's this concept of heaven. There's this concept of eternal life. Why? Because God has placed eternity in our hearts. So, there's this longing. Nakakalungkot nga, I think I was talking with uh, Pastor Dean na naikwento ro sa kanya ni Sean. Was it Sean na sinabi, yung ibang mga kaklase are talking about suicide. Talking about suicide. And they're thinking this, ha? they're thinking this, people. They're thinking this. They're so depressed, they don't find any reason and purpose for life. 
So the only way out that they can think of is to commit suicide because they're thinking in the afterlife naman. Meron pa silang another form. They, they will take another form. They will reincarnate. So, ayoko na nitong buhay na ito. Pakamatay na lang ako. Hindi bale, I will be born as a butterfly, whatever, um, in, in the next life. So, it is a problem. Eternal life, it is a question. And God knows that that is the problem of mankind. So, what does He do? He offers the greatest gift. And the greatest gift is, alright, I'll answer now, your greatest problem, I will offer you salvation. Sa Bible po, in Hebrews chapter 9, let's look at this. Hebrews 9, 13 to 14. Let me read it to you. Hebrews 9, 13 to 14. And this is what Judaism or the Old Testament actually has to offer. The blood of goats and bulls and the ashes of a heifer sprinkled on those who are ceremonially unclean, sanctify them so that they are what? Outwardly clean. Alright? So there's the offering of the blood. Ang totoo nga, as early as the sin of Adam and Eve, there was the offering of the blood. But the only thing that the blood, that the blood of these animals could do was to sanctify them so that they are outwardly clean. They're thinking, O oh, sige, natakpan na ako. How much more? Everybody say, how much more? That is how good the blood of Christ is. How much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences. That's not outward. That's inward. The consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. The blood of Jesus takes away our sins unlike animal sacrifices in the Old Testament that can cover our sins. Just cover. Hanggang cover lang yan. Um, I, I got this quotation. I, I, I'm going to share it with you. Sabe, if our greatest need had been information, God would have sent us an educator. If our greatest need had been technology, God would have sent us a scientist. If our greatest need had been money, God would have sent us an economist. If our greatest need had been pleasure, God would have sent us Gary V. Ay, ah, sorry, an entertainer. <laughs> but our greatest need was forgiveness, so God sent us a Savior. That's it. God knows what our greatest need is. It is salvation. So what does He do? He offers us a Savior. Next question that we will answer. So tapos na tayo. What's the greatest gift? It is salvation. Number two, what is the reason for the gift? What is the reason for the gift? Well, the verse says, For God so loved. For God so loved the world. So what's the reason for the gift? God's love. Bakit daw tayo bibigyan ng salvation? Because God loves us. Now, it may sound like a jargon, but it's true. I was a part of a school of ministry, Kingdom Culture School of Ministry, which uh, went on for like four months. Sino rito naging classmate ka sa school of ministry, Kingdom Culture? Naging classmate? Ah, apat kami. Wow, that's so good. Mga classmates ko nandun. Sarah, ikaw, first honor. Hindi ka gumraduate. Oh, if ka. Well, anyways, God still loves you. Alright. So, anyway. Na, na, natutuwa lang ako. Kasi po, there are um, some minutes that are given, devoted to, just um, Christian Di Arpa. Who remembers Christian Di Arpa? Siya po yung teacher namin doon. Alright? And Kristen and uh, another colleague of hers, her name is Carol, they get to prophesy over the students. So before the whole class starts, there's the 15 minutes devoted to just prophesying over the students. And then there's the activation part wherein they get to prophesy again. And uh, on one of those occasions, si Carol, who is really sharp, as in really sharp, like she can read into your life. Like she's reading your diary. Very sharp. Eh si Carol, na, na, 
natapat sa akin. Like there's this random thing that they do with Zoom. Na, 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 natatapat kayo. And natapat sa akin si Carol. So we're supposed to prophesy over each other. And I was expecting something. Sige nga, parang himayin mo ko. Um, um, address my greatest need. Or, or um, um, pick my curiosity. Tell me something that only God knows. And then she, she was, um, dahil I have seen her do it. And then we have some people from Church So Blessed that is from um, CSB in Mindanao, CSB here in Luzon, CS... We have some classmates from CSB as well. Now, whenever Carol prophesies over them, sabi ko, pambihira, parang kilala ni Carol. Eh ako, I can confirm what she's declaring because I know what some of these people are going through. So I just know she's, she has a very sharp prophetic gifting from God. Kaya nung tumapat sa akin, sabi ko, Lord, sige, woo, excited na excited ako. Ako lang naman ang sasabihin ko sa kanya, eh, God is using you mightily. You are anointed. Like, <laughs> you're the temple of the Holy Spirit. Alam niyo, sabi niya sa akin. Sabi niya, Pastor Hiram, what I'm receiving from God, and I know that this may sound cliche, is that God has a very profound love for you. He really loves you. And then she starts tearing up. Umiyak siya. Sabi ko, Lord, alam ko na yun eh. <laughs> But then, even as she was saying it, it started piercing my heart. And for us, it may sometimes sound really cliche. Alam ko na yun eh. Alam ko na yun eh. But God wants us to know that the reason, the reason why He offered to us the greatest gift is really because of that. It's because He really loves us. He really loves you. You. You as an individual, not just us corporately, He really loves you. And He has a very personal interest over you. Maskin na, Sometimes you look at yourself and you look at the things that you've done in your life, all of the acts, all of the thoughts, all of the emotions, and sometimes they're not even good. And you're thinking, God, what is it in me that makes you love me? And God will just say, I don't know. You're... I love you. I love you. It is something that we may not be able to understand as human beings because usually, usually, I don't know if you will be honest with this, but usually we get to love people because they're lovable. There's something good in this person. I get to love this person. Pero paano kung nakakainis? Sino rito nakakita na nang nakakainis? Huwag naman yung mabilis na mabilis. No? <laughs> Parang without thinking, ay, naku, pastor, ay, naku. May mga nakakainis. But would you believe me when I tell you, God really loves that person that we find to be nakakainis. So, what's the reason for the gift? God's love. It's just that He loves us. Can you say this with me? God loves me. So much. All right. Now, there's this word here in this verse. For God so, <laughs> for God so loved the world. I've always tried to understand this. I I actually thought that it was like an adjective. So, how much does God love me? So much. For God so loved. I was doing a study on this. Isipin niyo, John 3:16 pinag-aralan ko. And I was doing a study on this. You know what I found out? The term often translated so in this verse, for God so loved the world, the term often translated so means not how much, but in this way. All right? I'll explain, huh? For God so loved the world, 
so is not a description of how much does God love you. Well, so much. Craig Keener, who's a, who, who's a scholar in, in, in um, the New Testament, he says, no, no, no. That word so is not referring to how much. It is referring to in what way. So in what way? In what way? Let's go back to verse 14. All right? And here you will see in what way God loves us. All right? So it says here in verse 14, balikan natin to. Okay? Sa lahat po nang nanonood sa atin, hello, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Sunday. John 3.14, and kaya ba natin to? Lilitaw yan. All right, good. All right, let's read this all together. Everyone go. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, verse 15, that everyone who believes him, who believes may have eternal life in him. All right, balikan natin verse 14 again. Okay, hangga sa lumubog, ma-embed ma sa utak natin. Just as Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness. You remember that story? When the Israelites were being beaten by the snakes, and then God tells Moses, Moses, this is what you do. You lift up a brazen serpent, okay, Itasmo, and everybody who looks at that serpent will be healed of the snake bite. All right? So now Jesus is referring to that history of Israel, and he's saying, just as Moses was lifted up, or Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. And then jump to verse 16. Now he says, For God so loved the world. So, for God so loved the world so in that way in that way in what way just as moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness so everybody who looks at that snake they were healed now god so in that way in that way god so loved the world now that whatever happened to that snake that it was lifted up in the wilderness, I will be lifted up as well. That's how much God loves you. That whatever God did to save the Israelites, that is what's going to happen to me. It was actually a prophetic word telling all of these people, that's how I will die. I will be lifted up. Just as the serpent was lifted up on that Pole, I will be lifted up on a pole myself. That's how much I love you. And again, it may sound cliche for us, but I pray maalis yung pagkakagasgas nito sa puso natin. That if there's any doubt in your heart, if there's any doubt, and, and, and I'm even talking to those people who are watching right now, if there's any doubt in your heart that God really loves you because you have gone through some hard times this year, you know, hard times have a way of just numbing our emotions na parang, na niyan eh. I pray that all of us, our hearts will remain tender before God even if we have gone through some hardships this year. Uh, I want you to know it is true God loves you and if there is any demonstration that you want for that love it has actually taken place when Jesus was lifted up on that pole that was for us this is how God loved the world he gave his son for each one of us and when the Bible says, for God so loved the world, everybody say, the world. That means everyone in the world. Everyone. Hindi lang yung sinasabi ko kanina ng mga lava balls. May mga lava balls. Yun mga gusto kong maligtas yun. May mga taong hindi masyadong lava balls. Yun gusto kong maligtas ni Lord. But honestly and seriously, you know what? You, you should, you should, I should, really. We should train ourselves to learn to love the world. And when I say the world, that includes everyone. 
Because there will come a time, many of these people in this world, some of them you may not like so much, we will have this eternal time together. At pagkakita mo, ba't nandito yan, Lord? Ba't nandito yan sa langit? Sabi, Lord, oy, enjoy each other. It's for eternity. Panginoon, ayokong kasama yan. O di sige, doon ka sa baba. You'd better learn. You'd better learn to love the world just as God loved the world. I was looking at this uh, list, alright? Let me read to you the list of the world, okay? When God says He loves the world, look at the choices of God, alright? So, these are just some characters from the Bible. Some characters from the Bible that God saved. Noah was a drunk. You remember that time when he got drunk? Alright? So Noah was a drunk. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were liars. May pinamana sa Abraham eh. Napansin ba niya? Sometimes you get to read these stories and you think, sandali, parang nabasa ko na ito previously. Naalala niyo si Abraham nung may kumursunada sa wife niya dahil maganda. Tapos sabi, sabihin mo, kapatid kita ha? Kasi baka patayin ako dahil sa'yo eh. Because she was beautiful. That's what the Bible says. Alright? O a- anong sabi rin ng Isaac? Kay Rebecca, sabihin mo, kapatid kita ha? I mean, pinasa yung kasinungalingan. E, ito po yan eh. Ayaw mo na ikaw e eh, mapapatay dahil maganda ang misis mo. Huwag kang mag-asawa na maganda. So you don't have to lie. Crazy. So anyways, Noah was a drunk. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Jacob was a deceiver. Joseph was proud. Oh, mga tol, I had a dream. Lahat kayo magbabaw down sa akin. Oh, sige, tapon ka doon sa balon. Moses was a murderer. Gideon was a coward. Samson was a womanizer. At utu-utu rin. I don't know. Palagi at palagi. Sasabihin, ano ba talaga, sweetheart? Gustong gusto ko yung version ng, ano eh, ng uh, superbook dito eh. Have you seen that episode? Yung kay Samson sa, sa superbook? You see Delilah, oh, Samson. Ganun magsalita si Delilah eh. No? Because, oh, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. <laughs> and yet, and yet, he's still staying with, with Delilah. This womanizing guy. Samson was a womanizer. Rahab was a prostitute. David was an adulterer and eventually a murderer. Elijah was suicidal. Pastor, may ganun ba talaga? You remember, God, I don't like this life. Take me now. I'm no better than my ancestors. Isaiah preached naked. Pastor, may ganun ba? Ah, you're not reading your Bible. Read Isaiah. He was preaching naked. I don't know how that went. I'm fully covered now, see? Jonah was rebellious. God told him to go to this place. He went to that place. James and John wanted to call down fire on their perceived enemies. Peter denied Christ. All the disciples fell asleep while praying. Sino rito nakatulog na ba nagpe-pray? Oh Lord, oh Lord. And Peter even tells Jesus, Lord, everybody will desert you. I will never do that. Sino yan? Di ko kilala yan. Martha worried about everything. She was even trying to pick a fight with Jesus as the referee. Lord, tell her to help me. Kalain nyo, nagbisita, nagpanoche buena, nagpanoche buena, pagkatapos ibinisto yung away nila sa bahay kay Jesus. Have you ever thought about it? Hindi ba karaniwan pag kami bisita kayo, best foot forward? You don't let people know what's going on inside the house. Dito hindi eh. Si Marta pa mismo, Lord, oh, hindi na tumatulong. Hindi na tumatulong. The Samaritan woman was divorced more than once. Mary Magdalene was demon-possessed or demonized. And Paul, 
was a Christian killer. And all these people are what we call some giants of the faith. Wow. What's the point here? That's how God loves the world. Some of these descriptions of people that I have told you may actually describe you, me. Some of these descriptions may actually describe some of the people that you don't get to like. Some of the people that you're trying to avoid. But as far as God is concerned, they are part of the world. For God so loved the world. I think if only the church will truly be the hands and feet and the heart of Jesus, we have got this assignment in front of us. I think if there truly is a people who can and who should be manifesting this kind of love to all of these people outside, it should be us. So that's the answer. What's the reason for the gift? God's love. May mga tao siguro na magugulat pagka nag-reach out ka sa kanila, why are you doing this? God's love. If not for God's love, I won't be doing this. And uh, oh, I, I just hope that we will have our own stories. Na bakit, bakit ba ako binati nun? O bakit ba ako minahal nun? Bakit ba ako tinulungan nun? Only because of God's love that is flowing from our hearts. Third question to answer. What is the cost? What is the cost of the gift? Well, we all know the answer. For God so loved the world that He gave His, in the NIV, one and only Son. One and only Son. In the King James Version and some other versions, it's the only begotten Son. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng begotten, Pastor? Begotten. Siya lang yun. Siya, siya, lang, siya lang. Siya lang ang begotten sa lahat. <laughs> B-I-G-A-T-I-N. The only begotten, literally, this is what it means, all right? Yung begotten, the only begotten Son of God is literally special beloved. For God so loved the world that He gave His special Son, His beloved Son. Jewish literature sometimes applied it to Isaac. So you remember when God was asking Abraham, sabi ni God, Abraham, I want you to give me your son, your only son, whom you love. Palagi yun ha? Pansin nyo yun. I think it must have been expressed like three times in the Old Testament, in the book of Genesis, that whenever God would tell Abraham to offer Isaac, hindi sinabi ni God, God, akin na lang si Isaac, hindi ganon. Abraham, I want you to give to me your son, Okay na, your son, your only son, whom you love. Akalain ninyo, he waited for that boy for 25 years. 25 years! Kaya nga nagkandaloko-loko dahil pumatol pa itong si Abraham kay Hagar. You remember the story. But what he really wanted was to have a son with Sarah. And finally, he has this son with Sarah. And then God says, I want you to give me your son, your only son, whom you love. Lord, idinidiin pa po ninyo. Kailangan pa ba sabihin yun? Hindi lang sabihin, yung anak mga kay Sarah, akin na lang. Okay, Lord. Sige po. But it's your son, your only son, whom you love. It's the same word, begotten. Special beloved. Nag-iisa, unique. And that's the cost of the gift. That's the cost of God's gift for us only because He loves us, only because He loves you. You've probably heard of the story of the son in the drawbridge. Sino rito narinida, the son in the drawbridge? Alright, I'll, I'll read it to you. Huh? Because I believe that this story of the son in the drawbridge actually gives us 
a very powerful illustration of what it was like for God to give up His only begotten Son. Sabi ng kwento, a man had the duty to raise a drawbridge to allow the boats to pass on the river below and to lower it again for trains to cross over on land. So, ang trabaho ng lalaki, siya yung drawbridge operator. You know, ewan ko kung, may, may drawbridge ba sa Pilipinas? Would you know of any? Alright? Wala? Walang ganon? Alright. So, in some countries, no, meron yung tinatag na drawbridge. The way it works, ganito po yan. Bumaba bang ganon? Alright? So, the purpose for that, usually the drawbridge would be over a river. May river sa ibaba. Now, sometimes the boats that would be traversing the river would be very big or tall in such a way that if the bridge was there, tatamaan yung bridge. So, the idea is to have the bridge go up for the boats to be able to cross. Alright? And when the train passes, syempre, ibababayan so that the train can pass by. Yun yung trabaho ng lalaki. So, he had the duty to raise a drawbridge to allow the boats to pass on the river below and to lower it again for trains to cross over on land. One day, this man's son visited him desiring to watch his father at work. Quite curious, as most boys are, he picked into a trap door that was always left open so his father could keep an eye on the great machinery that raised and lowered the bridge. Suddenly, the boy lost his footing and tumbled into the gears. Nalaglag siya doon sa gear na nagpapaakyat baba nitong drawbridge. As the father tried to reach down and pull him out, he heard the whistle of an approaching train. He knew the train would be full of people and that it would be impossible to stop the fast-moving locomotive. Therefore, the bridge must be lowered. So there's the boy trapped in the machinery. The father, of course, because that's his boy, that's his son. I need to save my son. But he was Hearing the whistle of the train, he knows it's coming fast. He did not have enough time to go for the boy and then lower the bridge. And he knew that the train would be full of people. A terrible dilemma. The bridge must be lowered. What to do? The terrible dilemma that confronted him, if he saved the people... By lowering the bridge, that would mean that his son would be crushed in the gears of the machinery. Frantically, he tried to free the boy, but to no avail. Finally, the father put his hand to the lever, the lever that would cause the bridge to go down. Put his hand to the lever that would start the machinery. He paused and then with tears, he pulled it. The giant gears began to work and the bridge clamped down just in time to save the train. The passengers, not knowing what the father had done, were all happy at their safe trip and arrival. Yay, we arrived! We arrived! Unknown to them, the bridge keeper had chosen to save their lives at the cost of his son's life. Now, that's a very powerful story. But if only we can look at the heart of the father even as all this was happening. Do you think, do you really think that the father did not hear Jesus when he was crying on the cross? My God, my God. Why have you forsaken me? Do you really think that God did not hear that cry? Oh, God heard that. We all know better. He is omnipresent. He's present even at that cross. And if I can just go back a bit, do you not 
think that the father actually remembered Jesus boasting to his disciples, even if you all leave me, my father will not leave me. You remember that? It was on the Last Supper. No, sinabihan na niya, Peter, you know what? This is what's going to happen. Tilaok yung manok, you will have denied me three times. Oh, Lord, I will never do that. And everybody said the same. Lord, hindi ka namin iiwan. Well, you know what? Okay, say what you want to say. But let me tell you this. Even if you all desert me, even if you all leave me, my father will never leave me. Oh, if only he knew. If only Jesus knew that when he was saying that ahead of time, the father knew he had to pull that lever and choose mankind over his son. And that's us. Romans 5, 8, and we all know this, that God demonstrates his own love for us in this, that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Oh, I pray it will never be cliche. God's greatest gift, what it cost God. Number four question, and with this I end. So what's the condition for the gift? For God so loved the world that He gave His one and only Son that whoever believes in Him, whoever believes in Him, that's it, shall not perish but have eternal life. Ang gagawin? Believe in Him. Just believe in Him. Believe in Him. I was asking you earlier, sino sa inyo nakatanggap na regalo ng Pasko? Marami sa atin. I, th I think everybody did. Sino rito hindi nakatanggap ng regalo? Sino rito? Y yung toto. Eh, hindi. Hindi nakatanggap? Uh, well, I'm sorry, I, I said that in, in Tagalog. Who did not receive a gift this Christmas? Because if you did not, I'll give you a gift after the worship service. Seriously, all right? Nobody? Okay. I'll give you a gift, Karen. Grabe, nadurog puso ko ron. All you guys, you forgot to give Karen something. We're supposed to be family here. So anyways. It's always great to receive gifts. Noon Pasko, well actually even before Christmas came, may mga nagdidingdong na sa bahay namin. We're living in a new neighborhood. And some of these neighbors, of course, they're all new to us. They're all new to us. So some of these people, they would um, ring on the bell. Lalabas ako. I don't even know them. So may hawak-hawak na, na brownies. From Conti's, really good. Really good. I like it. Not so sweet, chewy, may caramel, duman nagpo-flow, really good. So nakaganyan, sabi, Merry Christmas po, sabi sa akin, ay, Merry Christmas, sabi ko, sino ka? <laughs> sabi niya, taga dyan po ako. Ah, okay, thank you, thank you so much. I mean, these are surprises. You're just thankful, you're just thankful. Not that I did something good to them, Wala akong maalala. May, may, na, may ginawa ba ako? Ah, siguro sinoli ko yung aso nilang tumatakas. Si Oily. But it's not like you really did something to deserve it. They just want to give it to you. They, they want to be good neighbors. Pero ito yun eh. We've not really been good to God. Have you really been good to God? Like, are you on the naughty side? Naughty or nice? We have all sinned. Seriously, and our sins, they are offenses against God. But God still says, I still want to give you this gift. Lord, what do I, what do, I do to deserve this? Nothing. 
Nothing that we can ever do, nothing that we will ever do, will make us be deserving of God's greatest gift. And the only thing that He requires from us, just believe. Now, we all know that this believing is not mental assent. Yung, ah, okay, naniniwala ako dyan, naniniwala ako dyan. But by believing, God is actually telling us, you want to be saved, you, you want the greatest gift, then what I want you to do is just fully trust, fully trust in what Jesus has done on the cross is that it's really for you. One of the best illustrations that come to mind concerning this gift is, Pastor Finn, pahingi naman na isang silang yan. And I'll end with this. Lakas ah. Pinaikot-ikot pang ganun no? So the way it works, like, we know that this chair exists. Tama? Okay? I believe that this chair exists. Who believes this chair exists? Anjane, anjane. Now, when God says, all right, you want the greatest gift? You want the greatest gift? The gift of salvation? I'm giving it to you. It's been paid for, paid for by my son. Okay, Lord, I believe that. But the believing that God wants for, from all of us is not the mental believing. Oh, naniniwala naman ako eh. By believing, God is actually demanding from us, I want you to trust me. Fully trust me. So, do you believe that this chair exists? Yes. Do you believe that this chair can really carry you as in the whole weight of you? Oh, yes, Lord. All right, so have a seat. Anong ka? Eh, sandali. Pa, pwede bang umupo ka ng pag ganito? Yung... Pero, sandali ah. Like you're holding on to this and not really putting your whole weight on this chair because you're thinking, sandali, baka hindi ako kaya nito. So what are you doing? Nandito meron or tension because your thighs, your legs are trying to lift some of your weight as well. Your arms are doing something in such a way that you're putting some of your weight here as well. So, for example, I weigh more or less. <laughs> I weigh 183 now. Alright? Oh! Oh! Okay yun, okay yun, okay yun. I weigh 183. Pero f- what if I'm looking at this chair and I'm thinking, this chair cannot really carry my weight. So what do I do? I put 50 pounds on it, the rest on my legs and on my arms, trying to lift myself up. What am I doing? Am I trusting in the chair? No. What God wants is let go and let the chair carry your whole weight. Why? Because the chair can carry you. That is what it means to trust, fully trust in Jesus. Jesus, I'm not basing my salvation on, eh, naging mabait naman ako eh. Nagsisimba naman ako. Uh, nag naman ako. Jesus has done it all for us. And all that we need to do is say, Jesus, sige po, I'm putting all of my weight on you. All of my sins, all of my flaws, all of my frailties, all of my successes even, I will count them as dung. My only trust is in you. That is the condition for the gift. Well, I suppose the best way to end the year is to recommit that trust to Jesus. Lord, whatever is going to happen to this planet, kanina po, I got, I got to wake up at um, 2.50 a.m., 3 a.m., and I, uh, I tried, I tried to sleep, hindi na ako makatulog, so I prayed, Lord, what's in store for us for this 2021? 
I was asking God for a word. What's in store for us? Sino sa inyo gusto malaman ano mangyari sa 2021? You know what? Oddly enough, I was looking for some prophetic words. Sabi ko, where are the prophets now? Where are the prophets now? I googled. I googled. And I, look at, I looked at Elijah's list. What are the prophets saying now about 2021? Para nobody wants to pull the trigger now. What's in store? What's in store? Because everything is just so uncertain. Yung dati, ang aga pa lang yun eh. Parang first week of December, naglabasa na yung what's ahead. What's ahead? Now I'm waiting for someone to tell us what's ahead. Well, I'll tell you what's ahead. 2021, God's love is still there for us. I'll tell you what's ahead. That the grace of God is still there. And the offer of the gift remains. And that you can still fully put your weight, the full weight on that chair that represents the gift who is our Lord Jesus Christ. Our full weight. Whatever happens, His grace will always be enough for us. Amen? Alright, so let's all stand up. And I want us to take this time to just thank the Lord right now. Can we just be thankful Kung kayo ay naging mareklamo ngayong ha, taon na ito, oh, Panginoon, unang pasasalamat, walang na-COVID, o kung may na-COVID man, gumaling na. Hallelujah. Ikaw, house renovation, kayo. Wow, hallelujah. Walang gastos. Sige, pakilala mo yung renovate sa inyo. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. God has been so good. God has been so good. Alright. Um, what I usually do dati ha, pinagpa-partner ko mga tao eh. Para sa ganun makapag-pray. Uh, let's partner with the Holy Spirit right now. Can we just take this time, siguro a minute or two, just be thankful right now and thank God for His greatest gift of salvation. Can we do that? All right. Lord, maraming maraming salamat po. You have been so good. When you said, God so loved the world, so is to tell us it was in that manner that you were lifted up like the serpent on the pole. You were lifted up on that cross so that you can save all of us. Lord Jesus, ayaw po namin na maging gasgas yung kwento. We just want to say thank you so much for that gift of salvation. And thank you so much for, all right, fill in the blanks. Thank you so much for, start thanking Jesus. Sige nga, enumerate natin. Let's count all of the ways that God has been good to you. God has been good to the church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Go ahead. Pray your own prayers. Talk to God. Be thankful. Hallelujah. He is so good. He is so good. Hindi ka mauubusan na mapapasalamat kay Lord. He is so good. We thank you, Lord, for life. We thank you for protection. We thank you for healing. We thank you for hope. We thank you for joy. We thank you for family. We thank you for church. Oh God, we thank you. We thank you for forgiveness. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us hope. We thank you, Lord God, for giving us faith. Even in those times when we were faithless and unfaithful, still you were faithful to us. Thank you, Jesus. You are the friend who sticks closer than a brother. Thank you, oh Lord, that even in those times when we would go wayward, you would go out of your way just to look for us and then pick us up again and wash us clean again by your powerful blood. Lord, you are good. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just keep on thanking Jesus. Let there be thankful hearts in this house. Oh, we are thankful. Maging kayo po na nanonood ngayon, worshiping with us online. Just start thanking God. Just start thanking God. He is there right now, right in front of you. 
not just in front of you. He is in your heart. And He's waiting for that attitude of gratitude to just flow, flow. Jesus, you are so good. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
by singing, He loves me. Oh, He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves He loves me. Oh, He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. Oh, how He loves me. It's something that we just need to receive into our hearts knowing that the one who said it is faithful and true he really loves us and I would like to speak to the ones who are viewing us online and anybody who's here today just in case you're having some doubts on that love I want you to know Jesus really loves you and he is for real he is for real. Even Jesus, as a historical person, nobody would doubt that He really walked this planet. Nobody would question that there really was a historical Jesus. And that Jesus, He's the Son of God. And He really died on the cross. Even secular historians, like Josephus, a Jewish historian who lived at the time of Jesus, would confirm, yes, there was this Jesus who walked this planet, and there was this Jesus who was crucified. It is a fact of history. And I want you to know, the reason he did that is for you and I, to pay for our sins, so that we can receive the greatest gift there is. So right now, there's nothing better than to receive that gift. Just receive that gift. Papano, Pastor? You remember what I did. Just sit on that chair. Put your full weight. Put your full trust in Jesus. By praying this with me. Say this with me from your heart. Just say, Lord Jesus, thank you for loving me. For dying on the cross for my sins. I admit, Lord, I have sinned against you and against people forgive me I repent Lord Jesus I receive your gift of salvation I put my full trust in you alone thank you for forgiving me of all my sins change me into the person that you want me to be I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, if you pray that prayer with me, I would say congratulations. That's the greatest prayer that you can ever pray. Anybody here who prayed that prayer for the first time, you just received the greatest gift. And for you watching online, I want to say the same. Congratulations. You just received the greatest gift. People, on our way out, on our way out, uh, we're still following um, distancing and protocol. So our offerings, kang ina po na pag pray na yan, you can just drop isa lang yan nandyan, here, here, and there, alright? You can drop your offerings on your way out. Okay, everybody's flowing on the same direction, alright? Kung kailangan nyo po ng makipagkwentuhan, fellowshipping, you can do that outside where we have some bigger space. For us here, we will be vacating the whole place. All right? Well, people, uh -uh, one more announcement. Friday, our New Year's Day service. All right? And we're going to be asking God what's ahead of us for 2021. Be praying for that. And then, of course, Sunday, the first Sunday of January and of the year, we will be having our first communion of 2021 as well. All right? And uh, the five nights of glory, you will be seeing announcements concerning that. But, ito po yan, ha? 
this early I can tell you this, no? The five nights of glory will be online. It will be online. Dahil nga po, dito sa schedule ng mall, and we cannot be having our meetings late at night. So, uh, it will be online for all of us. God bless you! God bless you! Advanced Happy New Year! Belated Merry Christmas! God bless you!